My friend Julia and I have travelled from Sussex, where we live, to Carln in Wiltshire for a week's sightseeing and exploration. It's actually the second day, although in our eyes it's pretty much the first day of our adventures. We're staying at one of our viewers' houses. Thanks, David. It's Sunday morning. I think it's just after eight o'clock. Bit of a lazy start this morning, but um, it's been a bit overcast and cloudy. Julia's asleep. I shall make her a cup of tea. And we will plan what we're going to do today. been looking at the uh, footage from yesterday and the sun was out and everything was very contrasty. I'm using a different camera. This is a camera that both Julia and I can just throw to each other and try and film for our trip. And I wasn't really happy with the result. So I watched a couple of videos last night as we were relaxing just to see if there's some tweaks and things. So I'm filming in with different um, setup. Um, so I'm hoping that there'll be a bit of a difference. Ah, oh, the sun is coming out. That's great. I find the little pixie girl hiding. Hiding. <laughs> You've been doing a lot of that, uh, sneaking up on me. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got extra energy. Oh, excellent. Not running around after a little two-year-old. Yes, that's true. So now I've got to keep you on your toes. Oh, yes, grand. This is it's really weird in this house, though, isn't it? Because one minute you can hear people, someone talking from the other end of the house, and then the next minute you can't hear anything. Of, of anyone else in the house, and you think, I'm alone, I'm alone in the house. And you leave your room and you come downstairs, like creeping around, and then suddenly, as you get to the door, you can hear the TV or the YouTube. It's just like, this is crazy, it's weird. It's cool, it's a very nice house. Breakfast? <laughs> We're off to a market town, and it's only six miles from Carn, so we're taking the van. Did you enjoy your breakfast? I did. You didn't usually get time for breakfast, or the inclination, to be honest. No. I've been uh, wallowing in the, uh, wallowing in a good way, in the not having Joe around. I mean, yeah, we, we're broaching on the longest time I've been away from him, so I, I imagine I'm going to start having some pangs. Yes, I can imagine. I was going to ask, I was going to ask you, how do you feel this morning not having, you know, a little chap jump on you? Um, you know, wor are you worried about his health and all that? I mean, I know he's with his dad and family. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, although it's nice to, to wake and have cuddles with, with the little one, um, it was also very nice just to sleep this morning. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and then have a voice appear. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, wow, that was nice. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Partly that's motivating you to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt. But, um, so, it was a nice gesture. We are on our way to Chippenham today. We thought we'd go. Um, it's an old market town that crosses the River Avon, I read this morning on the Whippapedia. Whip up a load of pedas. <laughs> and. Um, so we thought we'd go and have a look round. Yes, looking forward to exploring. First thing to do is to see if we can find some free parking. When you don't know somewhere, Chance. Oh, that's dead end. Is it dead end? Oh no, that's dead end. But the way we came. <laughs> uh, it's a Sunday as well, so I'm hope. Oh, road closed. Okay. 
Emery Gate parking down there. Maybe we gotta do that. Oh beautiful. Apparently, Chippenham is one of the West Country's most vibrant towns. I have to say, we love the amazing stone architecture, just so different from the chalk and flint cottages back home. Much of this dates probably from the late Tudor and Georgian period, although the church has more recent modifications. This, this is an amazing town. I'm so thrilled and very excited because of all the different stonework. I do love a, a town like this that's got really old, solid buildings. St Andrew's Church, and then all of these with the amazing roofs. Right, Julia, come on. Where's the town centre? What are you looking at, Julia? I am looking for, there's like a, a little old market. Like a covered market um, square. That's it, like a covered market square. Now I'm just trying to work out where it might be. That's where we are. Do you know, I haven't the bobbiest. That is the Yield Hall, which dates from the mid-1400s. This fountain was formerly situated at the southeast corner of the old town bridge and reinstalled in this position by charter trustees. Ah, uh, yeah, clean water, of course, very important for a healthy community. Ah, uh, the butter market. See, told you it was here. Great to see it so well preserved. The Bear Hotel. It's such a magnificent building, it must have a lot of history there. But I notice there's that sign that says freehold for sale. I just hope somebody buys it and reinstates it as a, a hotel or a thriving pub and not turn it into a solicitor's office. That would be awful. Right then, let's see what the rest of the high street has to offer. Oh no, a horse. Julia's not gonna pass that in a hurry. <laughs> oh Gould, she's getting on. I wonder if we can tether it to the van. She does look great up there, doesn't she? So Julia has just had, a, um, not a ride, but a sit on Frankie, this wonderful horse. She's so enamoured, as you can well imagine. How amazing. She's so happy. So this is the Avon. It flows from above the ancient town of Molesbury and through Wiltshire to the Severn Estuary. It's about 83 miles long, and we encountered it at the bottom of the high street. Getting a bit warm there, Julia. Yes, all the excitement and the sunshine peeking out between the clouds. So, um, that, you've just been sitting on a horse. I have. I've just been sitting on a horse called Frankie in the middle of the high street in Chippenham. That's so cool. Only in Chippenham, some might say. Yeah, that was that was amazing. Apparently the guy rides him down here quite a lot and always gets stopped. And he let me get up on, and sit on him. Uh, the horse. What kind of horse is it, Julia? Um, a draft horse. 
Um, I don't think it was a shy. I didn't actually ask him. I was just so obsessed with stroking the horse. Um, but yeah, beautiful, yeah, lovely. Going. I think it's tree hugging time. Julia does love her trees, of course, and as I do, I think Julia has a deeper love for them than me, and she's actually climbed into the tree. What's it like up there, Julia? It's lovely. It's very tree. Yeah, it's, it's very you. <laughs> well, I'm going back to the van to uh, make a cup of tea. How about you? Shall I bring one to you? Can you hold my phone? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. Oh, you are rolling. <laughs> she is rolling. We're just on our way back to the van and um, there's this brilliant bit that's raised up to meet the level of the church and this is the other side of St Andrew's Church which is um, on the, I guess, the highest point in Chippenham. Churches were built that way and they reckon, um, from what we read on Wikipedia, that there was a much earlier settlement, probably Saxon, maybe Neolithic. I mean, it's it's by the river, so you've got a source of uh, water, which would have been uh, very important. But what I, I love the just all this limestone, this uh, or sandstone, whatever it is, and then here all these wild flowers in front of the the church. It's just I don't know. I really really like the architecture of this town, although. We've seen a hell of a lot of rubbish here, strewn everywhere, which is very disappointing. Very stunning, stunning church, this. Must have been very prominent, obviously prominent, in Chippenham as a market town with what looks like three aisles and massive arches, beautiful stained glass windows all depicting stories, but all quite recent really, all that stained glass window, very, very Victorian I think. This section here is the Lady Chapel. Some history. This very light and simple chapel has an older feel than the rest of the church. It was rebuilt in 1442 by Lord Hungerford, who lived in Sheldon Manor. Dedicated to Mary, it is a place to remember that we are prayed for and encouraged by her goodness. The East Window from 1900 is an, is an Ancestry.com printout for Jesus, also known as a Jesse tree. Jesse, or Jess, was, the king, was King David's father and he is asleep at the bottom. You can just see the branch growing from Jesse's loins, reaching all the way up to Mary and Jesus. Various prophets look on approvingly. There we go. Yeah. Thank you kindly, sir. Oh, isn't it nice just to be able to come back to the van and make your own favorite cup of tea or coffee? It surely is. You know, we could have had it in town, but it's just peaceful. Yes, it is a nice, quiet street here. So we, we are, and we've got a nice through breeze as well. Oh, we should say, actually, um, when we were in town and Julia was on Frankie the horse that you saw, uh, a lovely lady came up, came out of the blue in Chippenham and said, I know you, <laughs> you're the bold explorer. I watch you all the time. 
And I thought, blimey, this side of the country, who's going to know me? But she used to live in Horsham. And her name's Mel. So Mel, if you're watching, it was lovely to meet you. Cheers. Yeah, Julia's feeling a bit guilty because she was so into the horse at the time. Yeah, I do feel really guilty because I could have given you one of these just for the halibut. It's an old little flyer that uh, I've seen. Yeah, we, we do like to give them out, don't we? And we just keep, I keep forgetting. Here's, there's an old little flyer from 2018 that uh, just randomly is in my little handbag that I haven't used for a couple of years. They fit perfectly in there, Julia. They do. Da, 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 da. So, Mel, send uh, send us your uh, email uh, your email address, your address, and we'll, we'll send you one if you want yeah. one for the hell of it. <laughs> it's actually raining now, so we were going to do a bit of a walk, but I think what we're going to do is go back to base and we will regroup. I think have another cup of tea. <laughs> It's all right, we're in no rush, are we? We're in no rush. It's a nice, uh, relaxing working holiday. <laughs> relaxing because there's no little ones <laughs> who are enjoying their time with um, the father's side of their family, which is nice. We haven't been able to see them much at all in the last year and a half, so that's nice. But really enjoyed Chippenham. Lovely place, isn't it? Absolutely lovely place, um, full of charm and character. We have a map. A map. We have a map. Shuffle this way just a fraction. You will be able to see the map now. And I've been looking. At the map. At the map. The thing about Khan is that it's on the edge between two different sets of OS map. Yeah, so this is the 156 Ordnance Survey Explorer map. And Chippenham and Bradford, was it Bradford it said? Yeah, I think so. Bradford on Avon. Oh, yeah. We went to Bradford on Avon oh, on, yes. our, on our canal oh, boat yes. in the rain. Place. It was a lovely place. You were just in a really bad mood. I was in a foul mood. <laughs> um, less said about that, the better. Yeah. Anyway. So, um, about what? Uh, yeah, exactly. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Bald Explorer mug look. So we've come back to base. We didn't go for a walk in the end because it did... Well, as you saw, it was raining. And we've got the map, so tomorrow we can plan something and do something. But looking in there, there was the... Oh, what was it called? The Bristol and something, or the Bath and something canal. The Wiltshire and Bath canal. There's some, some canal and... <laughs> It's so no it's longer the, used. The canal. Yeah, there's a, a disused canal. A disused canal. I can't find it. Was it, it in, in Calm, wasn't it? For, yes, it goes from here. Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal. There we go. Nothing to do with whatever I said before. And I was thinking it would be lovely to be able to go and walk a little bit of the canal, even if it's disused. But it doesn't seem that the towpath is walkable. Now, if you know something about that, let us know. Of course, by the time this goes out, we'll be back too late damn but but i'm sure you'll be borrowing this house again i hope so in yeah the future. yeah if we leave it in a nice state i mean so far we've wrecked the joint but <laughs> we'll we'll leave it nice and tidy and rehang the doors and use change the locks yeah <laughs> put polyfill on the walls um so jokes uh, joke, that is a joke um there was something else i was going to say uh no. no, it's gone. Mm. But yeah, it's been a good day. So it's clouded over, it's got dark, a bit miserable. We've got to go to Tesco's again, do another shop, because we only did a sort of basic shop last time, didn't we? Yeah, we just grabbed what we needed for dinner last night so and what, some breakfasts. What are we going to do for dinner tonight then? Food. <laughs> Great. You love being so funny. Yeah, because that grass soup we had yesterday was um, <laughs> a little sort of empty lemon glass lemon glass lemon glass they got that was you know down at a and e yeah, yeah. getting those little lumps out was not fun so we won't be doing lemon glass soup no, again <laughs> thanks oh dear. an outrage i haven't used this gizmo for nearly a year so i'm hoping i can get some good shots during the week i'm not sure how the bloody thing works though mind you 
We have been forecast a lot of wind. <laughs> I've been playing with my drone and it was going all right. Till he crashed it. And now I can't fly it. What do you mean till I crashed it? Can't fly it, can't find it. Can't find it. No, it's stuck in that sodding tree you want to go and find. Yeah, I had to uh, nudge you and make sure we got to go and visit the tree. That's true. When she nudged me, the tree fell into the drone. It didn't really happen. <laughs> I'm teasing. We've been to the shop that needs no name, but not the one that we went to yesterday because... No, because we forgot it was Sunday. Yeah, we did that. at four. So we went to the Express. Yeah, kept forgetting. All day, kept forgetting it was Sunday. I mean, I knew it was Sunday all day, but you kept forgetting, and then ultimately I forgot too. Yeah, so it must have, like, rubbed off on your brain somehow, <laughs> my incompetence. Um, so, we've been to the express version, and what are we having tonight, Julia? We are having, what are we having? Oh, cottage pie. Yes. Yes. Cottage pie with... Some corn on the cob. Yes. And... Mince, carrots, peas. I've got a... those green long things. Leek, <laughs> onions. Why are you talking <laughs> like this? Because my brain is... is, is <laughs> Complicated. But it's actually not minced vegetables, it's actually minced beef. It's, yeah, it's minced beef <laughs> and then the other things. Bees. And I brought from home some mashed, not mashed yet. Potatoes, but potatoes. Which we will mash. Because I didn't want, you know that thing where you go, go away for a week and you think all the things in the fridge, you might as well take them because yeah, they'd be off. waste otherwise, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Sounds good. Excellent. The onions are going in, the carrots are on, the potatoes are done, the corn on a cob is yet to be done. The potatoes aren't done, but they are on. Yes. Yeah, I mean they're peeled, excellently peeled by manual labour. And topped. By manual labour. So we're going to have a lovely... Excellent mi manual labour. <laughs> Excellent manual labour. It's all woman all as well as manual. Anyway. Um, we're going to have a fantastic meal and we'll show you what it looks like when we dish up. Oh, it was right tasty. Julia is an excellent cook. My turn tomorrow, I suppose. What a fab day. Yeah. Oh and a rainbow. Can you smell that? Is that bacon? It smells like good pub food, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>